All right, today we continue to talk about the key point in image. From last video, you already know something theoretical concept about the uh, Gaussian blurring or key points about the um, intensified gradient, okay? So today we learn how to apply that um, method into the C++ course. Okay, how, how we apply the uh, uh, the sobo we change the gradient uh, of the image in the S or Y direction. Okay, how we apply the Gaussian uh, blurring the image in the C++ code. Okay, we uh, go to the Visual Studio 2019 and you create a new project. And in the project, you remember you ask the OpenCV uh, library. Um, library we look like the video of last video, I already show you detail how to add the OpenCV into project. So I don't want to explain right here. Uh, so if you want to know how to uh, install the OpenCV, you go back to the last uh, the video, how to install OpenCV in C++, and you know how to do that. And right here, I just show you um, how to apply the Gaussian smoothing, how to um, blur in the image or apply the Gaussian into the image, how to use the kernel stuff and you apply to the image, okay? And before you we talk about this code, you remember in the code you have, you go back to the shot of the code right here, you copy the image right here, Right here, you can create any image you want. Right here is only the car. The image right here is the car. So you can do any the image you want. Um, all the image right here is the car. So you put the, uh, the folder image into the project folder. I create the project folder right here. Okay, and put the image right here. Okay, it's help you how to read the file from the image folder. Okay, go back to the code right here. You have to open the library, open CV right here. And you write the function, the Gaussian smoothing. Last time you already know the Gaussian smooth uh, filtering, right? Mm. So we create the kernel. And we and so we use the uh, filter function, 2D function right now. And after that, you uh, through the kernel and into the image in this function and this kernel we apply into the image okay and they send to the result right here and in so we uh, we saw the image the result right here and right here you remember divide into uh, it means one we have this matrix okay and we divide each value in this matrix to this value Okay, two seven three. Uh, so and we have the kernel matrix. Okay, and kernel matrix look like last video I already told you. And you use the I am read to read the image right here. Okay, and after the read the image, you um, have to uh, create the kernel. Okay, okay. And after that, you uh, run the kernel through all the image. Okay, with the filter 3D, uh, 2D, and then you show. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Remember, CV column column mat is a tie. Okay. It's really easy and basic how to uh, create this Gaussian uh, smoothing the image, okay? And into the main, with, you can write all this one into the main and you run program, but where you can write outside and this is a function now of human, okay? That's the kernel right here, the file, column file row, okay? And the uh, kernel right here is the matrix, the data is right here.
Yeah, that's the result. After uh, they run the uh, kernel, okay, through all the images, they are original image different, okay? As a result, how to use the Gaussian blood ring. Okay, next. So you another example. This example you also use the library OpenCV, right? And right now you create uh, the function, one function. This function apply the sobo in the x direction and y direction. How it look like, okay? here in this function you read the image okay and after that you change image to image gray okay image gray okay and then you apply for the sobo in s direction that time you already know about the gradient intensifies gradient okay uh, for example, right now we apply in S direction how the output look like. We had to create the kernel right here. This metric, okay, and we apply to the sobo S right here. This metric, and we create the kernel as right here in the direction after that we create another matrix uh, right here mm, and we use the filter 2d with this kernel s okay in the s direction and we just say i want to see how it looks like in the s direction okay that's it loading the code Right here, the answer right here, the sobo operator in S direction, okay? And you can see in S direction. But next time, we can see the Y direction a little bit different in the Y direction, okay? Right now, we want to see how they change to Y direction. Okay, we use different metrics right here. Okay, and let's see how it looks like. Let's only change the value in the metrics. And similar in the first one, you just call the function into the main. You can drive all this one into the main and run it.
Yeah, you see different from the S direction right now in the Y direction, then it's a little bit different, right? Yeah, how about combine the S and Y? We use the magnitude of sober. How we do that? And now we use both sober S direction and sober Y direction, and we uh, calculate the magnitudes. Okay, you use the formula in last video. I show you the the magnitude of the S and Y direction. It's really simple. A lot of time we already see one by one for S and Y direction, and right now we combine the S and Y direction. Like uh, the right here, you like remember the formula. The right now we calculate the gradient direction, the magnitude. Okay. So we run the uh, follow up right here, all row and all the column, and we calculate the magnitude of the S and Y direction, okay? Compute the magnitude emission. And then we show the, I am so the, the image with the magnitude of sub S and Y direction. But right here they apply the filter for S direction, Y direction, okay. Let's resolve and resolve Y. Okay, let's see how it's look like when we apply the S and Y direction at the same time. We use the magnitude of the sober. We also call the open CV library. We write the function magnitude sober. We read the image, right? Okay. We either change the image to the RGB to the gray. And then we create a one another matrix, and that's copy the clone right here. Is copy from the last. Okay, something. They run in program so slow. They become the computers really slow. But I used to. I, this one I will tell you in another video, use the pythons. I have a series of the video um, teaching the open computer vision in the pythons. So I will tell about this problem one more time in the Python code. Okay, right here, we learn the C++ code, you open CV. Okay, here the result, Gaussian blurring, okay. They apply the you see they reduce a lot of noise when we apply the magnitude sober, okay? Right now they very clear the S right here. No, you didn't see any noise around the S right here. They already move very really good, right? It's different if we apply for S direction, we still have the noise. And Y direction, you have, have the noise. Right now we apply all the S and Y direction, okay? You reduce all noise right here around the, the object. Okay, uh, so that's all the video, uh, the example how to apply what you learned from last video. I hope you can enjoy with that. See you next video.